Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Devotions. It's been raining outside, it's real wet. It's uh, a little bit ago, it was just 55 when Joy checked. So it's kind of a nasty, cool morning. It's supposed to rain for the next, I don't know how many days, like through next week or something. So, um, on our prayer request, Tweet's grandson needs prayer for his addiction and healing from anxiety. Patricia's daughter, Teresa, has an unspoken request. Sharon Piva House needs prayer for her health. Diane's son-in-law, Greg, came home Sunday from the hospital. He goes Tuesday, well, that was yesterday, for a CAT scan and other tests. He'll need more surgeries to remove dead tissue. Angel's mother Lillian's results are back and she doesn't have the virus. She will be able to go back to work Thursday tomorrow. That's good. Okay. Our uh, our Bible verses today come from Mark. 14, 1 through 9. Now the Passover and the festival of unleavened bread were only two days away, and the chief priests and the teachers of the law were scheming to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. But not during the festival, they said, or the people may riot. While he was in Bethany, reclining at the table in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, made of pure nard. She broke the jar and poured the perfume on his head. Some of those present were saying indignantly to one another, why this waste of perfume? I could have, it could have been sold for more than a year's wages and the money given to the poor. And they rebuked her harshly. Leave her alone, said Jesus. Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have in you. <clears throat> the poor you will always have with you, and you can help them any time you want. But you will not always have me. She did what she could. She poured perfume on my body beforehand to prepare for my burial. <clears throat> I truly tell you, wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will, will also be told in memory of her. <laughs> Our devotion today is entitled Dancing Before the Lord. <clears throat> Excuse me. A number of years ago, my wife and I visited a small church where during the worship service, a woman began to dance in the aisle. She was soon joined by others. Carolyn and I looked at each other and an unspoken agreement passed between us. Not me. We came, we come home, we come from church traditions that favor a serious liturgy, and this other form of worship was well beyond our comfort zone. Okay. But if Mark's story of Mary's waste means anything at all, it suggests that our love for Jesus may express itself in ways that others find uncomfortable. A year's wages were involved in Mary's anointing. It was an unwise act that invited the disciples' scorn. The word Mark uses to describe their reaction means to snort and suggests disdain and mockery. Mary may have cringed during Jesus' response, but he commended her for her act of devotion and defended her against his own disciples, for Jesus saw the love that prompted her action despite what some would consider the impractical nature of it. He said, why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. Different forms of worship, informal, formal, quiet, exuberant, represent a sincere outpouring of love for Jesus. He's worthy of all worship that comes from a heart of love. Why do you think we're critical of unfamiliar forms of worship? How can we change our thoughts about a form of worship that's outside our comfort zone? I bow before you, Almighty God, 
and worship you now. You're worthy of the highest praise and adoration. And also, Lord, I want to pray for everybody on the prayer list today. Please help them with all their different problems and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus, Lord. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Um, I'm going to wait just a little bit until at least it gets 60 degrees or so, and I'll be doing my walk, and then uh, everybody remember, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Everybody remember tonight, uh, we've got Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews with Chef Mike. So, if you want to see maybe a uh, cheer dance that we might do, if we, uh, I'm sure we'll find something we like. I can't do a cheer dance for everyone, though. All right, everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you on Take a Walk With Me. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless.